Here's something else to get you moving. In a very different way though, the unmanned passenger drone market might be one to watch over the coming months. I'm not saying this is going to be the year that I start flying to work, but the race to get autonomous passenger vehicles in the sky is getting exciting, especially now that a British entrepreneur has joined that race. We already knew the future was driverless, so it makes sense that it could be pilotless too. There are several companies around the world right now building vehicles that could fly us around town. Surrey-based entrepreneur Martin Warner heads up one of those companies. We're testing right now, we're constructing the concept, mm. uh, we're doing flight tests uh, for it. Uh, we're a long way into the first... Where uh, are you doing the tests? Very close to here. In Surrey? Yes. But you won't reveal any more? No. Okay. Um, and actually it's technically not in Surrey, but it's very... We're on the Kent-Surrey border. Okay. People of Kent and Surrey, here's what you want to be looking out for. The Y6S, what could become the UK's first passenger drone, giving our busiest cities a transport upgrade. Where there's crowding problems, there's obstacles, there's too much traffic, there's this incredible opportunity where the technology is 30 plus years old and there's now an opportunity to create a whole different kind of aircraft using the same kind of technology that exist in drones and have commonalities with other forms of, of aircraft. If that's tackled right, we could see one day a competitor to cars. Martin believes autonomous drones will be the next gold rush in transportation, not just something for the super rich. The technology um, in the strict definition, electric vertical takeoff landing aircraft, is actually quite simple. The production of these, once they're tested and produced, is actually quite cheap. So I think the ability to put a, a what we call the Y6S, you know, a two-seater uh, aircraft in the air for someone to purchase, is probably going to be more like a median price of around $25,000 or £20,000. The lithium-ion battery-powered Y6S is designed to cover a distance of, say, Heathrow Airport to Charing Cross train station in 12 minutes, a journey that could take around an hour by car. But in the short term, one would hope that it would complement any infrastructure that's there, whether it be the Crossrail in London, additional types of services like Uber coming around. We're going to need more and more and more. But one day, absolutely, there's going to be an air shuttle system and people using you know, autonomous passenger drones or indeed piloted drones as another form of getting to work. Now, what about safety? That must be a worry. How do you get beyond those challenges? First of all, there's how do we as a, a company satisfy ourselves that we can make something safe that's, uh, that essentially is a new category uh, of air vehicle? And then how do we satisfy regulators? And ultimately, by doing the two, you satisfy consumers. Uh, the Y6S flies with six rotors and six motors. Um, if three were to fail, it will still land safely. There are multiple what we call flight redundancies, which is multiple uses of, of technology to ensure that if there is a single point of failure, the aircraft will either land or fly you to where you need to be. All right, what about cyber attacks? How will the drone be able to cope with that, with someone hacking in and taking over control of the passenger drone? With technology, you have to be open to the idea of, of uh, um, looking at new security measures, new encryption. If we were worried about this, there wouldn't be Facebook, right? There wouldn't be the internet, right? There wouldn't be an open era of information. There's always going to be challenges with, with software. What I can tell you is that these are serialized, they're tracked. Um, we're not flying over oceans. Um, they're flying short distances. Uh, you know, you have to assume that you are one step ahead in terms of encryption and constantly reviewing that. And that is for every single industry. It's just something we live with. Martin believes we'll see passenger drones in our skies within as little as five years, so long as regulatory requirements can be met. We know Uber's deal with NASA to work on its flying taxi project could see testing begin in 2020. While Martin plans to be on board the first passenger flight test of his drone later this year.